What's going on guys, it's David here, and today we are going to be checking out none other than the Nike Romaleo 3s. I don't know if you guys can see those, there we go. We've got the Nike Romaleo 3s in the house, transitioning over from the Legacy Lifters to these. So today I'm gonna to be going over a quick little overview for you guys, for those of you that are looking to get a new pair of weightlifting shoes. And then I'm also gonna give you guys my thoughts uh, coming from the Legacy Lifters. So maybe some of you guys already have the Legacy Lifters, maybe you're thinking about getting the Legacy Lifters, maybe you're thinking about getting the Nike Real Romeo 3. This video is gonna be all about that. So first things first, before we hop into today's video, down below, let me know what weightlifting shoes are you guys currently using? What weightlifting shoes are you guys currently thinking about getting? And what lift weightlifting shoes have you used in the past? Or what is your experience with weightlifting? Let me know down below. So the Romaleo 3 is a stripped down version of the Romaleo 2. It's actually a, a brand new silhouette. It's much lighter. It's way more stripped down, way more bare bones, which is a good and a bad thing uh, as some people have pointed out uh, because it's kind of moved away from what the original iteration of the Romaleo 3 was but it has been quite some time since the Romaleo 2 or the Romaleo shoe itself had been updated. So with this shoe, one of the things you're gonna notice is that there is a synthetic leather upper. It's not real leather, um, but it doesn't feel extremely cheap. It doesn't feel extremely great. It's kind of so-so. Another thing about this synthetic upper is that it actually kind of feels almost like everything was like 3D printed constructed. Um, so it's kind of got this weird sort of futuristic vibe to it. It's a very thin shoe it's very stripped down it's not like the previous models it's not like the uh, legacy lifter the shoe almost to some degree reminds me of uh, almost like a Metcon uh, with the way that the shoe silhouette is constructed as well as um, the padding the areas that the shoe is padded it, it feels pretty much the exact same way as Metcon, except that this just has a heel. The shoe also features the Flywire technology that's also found on the Metcons, and then it also has a midfoot strap just to make sure that your feet feel very secure and very uh, tied down. The shoe on the laces also have metal eyelets. Um, I really like this just because I find that with most of my weightlifting shoes and my training shoes, uh, whenever the shoes get untied because I train most of the time with my shoes untied. Um, the little eyelets, I think is what they're called, they tend to get destroyed and crushed. These ones are metal, so these are probably gonna last an extremely long time. Um, these are very similar to the laces that are found on the Matt Frazier uh, Metcon 4. And speaking of the heel, this shoe features a TPU constructed honeycomb heel, which at the bottom you can actually see the slots where it's cut out. Um, and so the shoe is going to feel, ex again, it's going to feel extremely light. Um, it's also, um, I, haven't, I didn't mention this before, but it's also uh, extremely ventilated. So your foot is not going to feel like it's just heating up uh, like with other mo like with most other bulky weightlifting shoes. The height on the shoe is about 20 millimeters, which is about the same size or millimeter um, higher than the Reebok Legacy Lifter. Um, this, essentially the offset is essentially the heel, the toe drop. So the height that the heel sits off of the ground. So uh, I, it's supposed to be a little taller than the Legacy Lifter, but we'll see how that feels once um, I get into the shoe and I test it. Something to note is that with this shoe compared to the Romeo 2, I noticed that people were saying that uh, the heel height on this shoe is actually a little bit shorter than the Romeo 2. So if you're coming from the twos to the three, just note that there might be a slight height difference. The shoe also features a rubber outsole. And as I mentioned before, it's got the honeycomb construction. So you can also see the colors on the inside. And then also at the top, of the shoe at the toe, you got that Nike swoosh in different colors, depending on the colorway that you purchase. Another reason why I say that this shoe might be a little bit more geared towards CrossFitters is because it comes with two sets of insoles. You have these ones, which are gonna be a little bit more firm, and then the shoes that are actually on, the insoles that are actually inside the shoe right now are the softer insoles, and those are supposed to be, I would assume, more for when you're doing 
you know, Metcons that involve barbell movements and things of that nature. Um, the firmer ones, again, like I said, they're probably going to be more towards uh, being used when you're doing just pure weightlifting. So let's say, for example, if you have barbell club or something like that, you'll probably want to use the firmer insoles just so that your feet aren't moving around uh, when you're trying to attempt lifts. And if I haven't said it already, I'll say it again. This shoe is ridiculously light. Um, the way that the shoe is constructed as well as the materials that have been incorporated into it, the shoe is stupid light. Um, I would say it's probably lighter than the Romaleo 2s as well. Now, in terms of quality of the shoe, I would say I'm not sure if I'm 100% down with the way that it was built. Again, like I said, I'm coming over from the Legacy Lifter. Uh, this shoe is just extremely well constructed. It's well built. Um, everything from the materials that are used, I believe these might, this might actually be um, actual leather that's incorporated into the shoe. You've got the two straps here. Um, it just feels like a hardcore weightlifting shoe um, as opposed to the Romaleo 3s. These feel, oh, these feel a lot more like Metcons that are kind of um, for weightlifting. Um, the, again, like I said, the construction on the upper isn't 100%, I'm not 100% sold on it. Um, if, like I said before, it feels um, like there's a bunch of 3D printed materials that they used and they just kind of layered it on top of each other and glued it as opposed to actually sewing pieces together. Um, all of the pieces are there. It's just the way that they executed it. I'm not 100% sold on it. But again, this shoe is, I would say, more designed for the CrossFit crowd. I think part of the thing is, is that there's no doubt that CrossFit has really had an impact on um, the resurgence of weightlifting, specifically within America. And I think this shoe was really targeted and geared towards those individuals um, because it wasn't until I would say a few months ago that they actually stopped selling the Romaleo 2s, which a lot of people were kind of upset about. Um, I wish I would have got my hands on a brand new pair of Romaleo 2s. Maybe I will be able to, who knows, maybe uh, Athlete TPS will have some sort of like back stock of uh, Romaleo 2s. Um, but this one I would say is definitely geared towards um, CrossFitters and Metcons. Um, I don't, I won't say that this wouldn't be an option if you are a full-time weightlifter. Um, I wouldn't say don't buy this shoe, but there are people that have complained about um, just different aspect, aspects of the shoe. One of the biggest ones is that the tongue of the shoe. Um, people were saying in reviews that they ripped within a month to two months. So we'll see how that plays out with this shoe. Um, I purchased this in a 10 and a half and I found that these fit a little bit better than my legacy lifters. My legacy lifters felt a little bit too big. Uh, they're the same size, but the width on this feels just right. Um, they are a little bit more narrow, but they're not too narrow. So all in all, I don't know, I still don't know how I feel about this shoe. Um, I actually transitioned to full CrossFit now. So I'm CrossFitting five days a week. I'm no longer weightlifting. I take that back. I'll be weightlifting about two days a week, one to two days a week and doing full CrossFit, especially with the open coming up. Um, but I'm gonna try to wear these as much as possible in classes, uh, just to get a better feel and sense of how these shoes perform. Um, I'm probably going, again, going to be transitioning from my legacy lifters to these just because my legacy lifters are getting pretty worn uh, after a full year of just pure weightlifting. So I'm excited to get my feet in these and start training. Um, and I'll have some footage for you guys and I'll definitely do a recap uh, video for you guys on this shoe. So like I said before, guys, let me know down below what it is, what other questions that you guys have in regards to the shoe. Um, let me know also what shoes you guys are wearing, what other shoes you guys are looking at in terms of weightlifting shoes. I want to know what you guys are thinking about in terms of weightlifting shoes. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. I'm super excited about this new review. Also, if you have not done so, make sure to check out the Create as Prescribed Possible the Create as Prescribed podcast. That's my new podcast where I interview different individuals in the world of functional fitness and weight lifting that are just doing 
entrepreneurial and creative things that are impacting people. So if you guys are into business, if you guys are creatives, photographers, writers, producers, or you're just interested in how these people got to where it is that they are, subscribe to that podcast. I'll leave a link down below to Spotify as well as link to the latest episode. Guys, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. And as always, guys, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David. I got you guys in the next one. Peace.